Okay, we're back live. Uh, this is the second segment of possibly three. Uh, right now, this, uh, sorry, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Uh, what we're doing right now is comparing the bone level and pressure copings. Uh, this happens to be an open tray coping uh, that, that could easily be modified. This is actually a closed tray already modified uh, to give us a uh, emergence profile that would be quite acceptable for this uh, bicuspid region. So um, if you want to learn more about how to modify these transfer copings just uh, contact me and my email or my phone number that's that's listed um, on the screen. So right now we're just finishing up um, uh, placing the wax right now. I'm just waiting for my dental assistant to finish that up. Um, let me talk to you a little bit about how we came up with this idea. Um, basically we wanted to be able to have a transfer coping that did not uh, in any way elicit any uh, sharp radiuses or sharp line angles. So we, if you look at this very closely you'll see that everything is uh, significantly rounded. Um, and also uh, we've uh, marked the, uh, the facial aspect with a couple of little dots right here. We also drew some pen lines on each side. Uh, basically this will go in place and be screwed down. Now if, if the interdental space is too narrow then we'll take a disc and just uh, lightly adjust each side. So we're looking to get more than enough uh, f spread of tissue and hopefully it is, this will copy or, or, or be a carbon copy of the emergence profile that's found in and around the temporary. So I'm just going to go ahead and check down and see if we're just about ready with our wax. And it's still waxing a little bit more. All right. Um, some of the older ones that I've had modified, uh, basically I just take a disc and, and just trim off a little bit of uh, the interproximal area. Uh, so again, uh, why do we pick this particular style or this particular type of abutment? Uh, why the contours? Well, we want to try to mimic that of the provisional, of the temporary. And so getting, keeping consistent with the peak abutment and the transfer coping is important. So we're going to go ahead now since uh, we've got about another six or seven more minutes before I'm going to have to stop and go to another segment. All right. So here we go. Okay, we're, we're fine. We'll fix that up. Okay, let me just slip a cotton roll now up in here. Okay. Hang it in there, Luigi? Okay, here we go. I'll try to give you a focus. Uh, we're looking through a microscope right now as well, just to kind of give you an idea. And uh, in a future segment, I'll show you what microscope we're using. Uh, right now, I'm just going to back this screw out. Let's just dry that. Okay. There it goes. Now that drops in. And now we're going to undo the screw. And we know that there's epithelial tissues and lining that's going to be stripped a little bit when I take this out. So we're going to try to go to placement of our impression coping. We know it's out to the buckle. There it is. Let me let me just rinse that toward your lingual suction. Okay. So you can see the tissue is somewhat red. There we go. I'm drying that off. I'll dry it off. Okay. So inside threads look good. I have it dried. We're going to go ahead and place our transfer coping. 
I just want to make sure we got the right end up toward the facial the way we do. And we'll just slide this right in place. That should bottom out nicely, just like that. Okay, so that's in, but we got to tighten it down. Okay, so here we go. We'll hand tighten that. Now you, it's normal to get a little bit of exudate around the tissue area, but you know, notice notice one thing here. Let me turn that off. That uh, we've got a nice adaptation all the way around 360 degrees, and uh, here you go. Not only that, we don't hardly see any tissue blanching here. Now you had a little irritation, but uh, Luigi's been wearing this particular temporary for a while. So now the next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of wax to the top of this because we want to cover that that screw during the impression. That's a very important step. So when we go to reseat the this particular uh, impression transfer coping that it seats without any interference. Uh, you don't want that uh, the image of your screw head and your impression so we have to cover that. I'm just hand tightening making sure I got it as nice and tight. And do you feel that at all Luigi? That, oh that doesn't bother you. Okay. Alright. Uh, we got one more step we're going to do right before we take our impression, but let's go ahead and add that wax now. Hollenbeck. Okay, I'm going to just smooth this wax. All right, good. Now we're going to use a disc because I want to be able to make sure that the contacts are, are plain. So I'm going to use a fine diamond first and then a disc. Let me have a composite disc please. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this contact because I want to make sure it has a good path of insertion, so I have to do that. And I'm going to match it up to this contact right here. And then we'll rinse everything off. In the next segment, I'll show you how we take the impression. And it'll be a real snap. So, I mean, uh, the stage is set, everything is good. That transfer coping is going to give us all the information we need. It's also going to allow your lab to uh, to work very quickly and more easily when they prepare the model form. Absolutely zero tissue collapse. Our goal was to get a replica of that uh, soft tissue and uh, looks like we're mimicking are going to mimic the actual contours of that temporary of the soft tissue compartment of the temporary. All right, that's about where I would like it. And I'm going to polish next. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to play around with the contacts a little bit more, but this is Jerry Cuomo. I want you to pick me up on the next segment where we go to take the impression. All right. See you in a little bit.